While choosing an application architecture style, there are several main concerns that needs to be addressed, such as scalability, performance, maintainability, reliability, and flexibility. In this video, we are going to talk about three different application architecture styles. We'll start with all-in-one application architecture, then we will talk about layered application architecture, and then we will end this video with introduction to clean architecture. So, without any further delay, let us get started. Hello and welcome everyone. Before talking about the different application architecture styles, let us first talk about some of the main concerns that we mentioned at the beginning of this video. We will start with scalability. So what do we mean by scalability? Scalability means that the architecture should be able to handle the increased amount of uh, traffic and data as the application grows without sacrificing performance and reliability. In simple terms, this means that the architecture should allow us to scale the application to enterprise level to handle the increased amount of requests and the increased amount of users using the application without affecting any other main concern. The second main concern is performance, which means that the architecture should uh, be designed to minimize latency, maximize throughput, and provide fast and uh, responsive user experience. This means that the architecture should allow the user to make requests and uh, receive response in no time and provide them with the best user experience. Next point I'm going to talk about is maintainability. Maintainability means that the architecture should be easy to maintain, update, and extend over time with a clear separation of concern and well-defined classes between components. Now we will talk about flexibility. Flexibility means that the architecture should be flexible enough to accommodate changes in requirement and allow for integration of new technology as they become available, especially in agile environment. The architecture should allow us to implement the new changes received from the customer, which is according to Agile Manifesto, we should respond to change over following a plan. Next, we will talk about reliability. The final concern that I'm going to talk about is reliability, which means that the architecture should be designed to minimize downtime, ensure high availability, and provide high level of reliability to the user. Of course, there are more concerns, but in this video, these are the most common concerns that I'm going to talk about. Now, let us start talking about the different application architecture style. Choosing an application architecture style depends on the project requirement and constraints, and the organization goals and priority. The first application architecture style that I'm going to talk about is the all-in-one uh, architecture. In this architecture, the code for the whole application is reside in a single project. For example, it could be an ASP.NET Core MVC application, where the code for the whole application is in one project. This could be as a result of starting a file a new project the team start building the screen and functionality, and to be quick, they put all the code in a single application. But in software development, we all know what happened. The application grew. Um, you will receive a request, add this functionality, and then another request, add another functionality. And before you know it, the tiny application that we started with, it's now become, it's become used by the whole and the whole organization. Okay, there is nothing wrong with such an architecture because you can still create uh, layers through folders. For example, in the MVC applica uh, application I mentioned before, you can you will have a folder for the classes and a folder for controller and a folder for the view models and so on. But the problem is that at the end, 
we will have too many classes. And there is nothing stopping us from putting a controller in the model classes. And by this, it is very hard to enforce separation of concern. And as I said, there is nothing wrong with this type of architecture. But in order to create an enterprise maintainable ap application, you cannot use this type of architecture. The second type of uh, application architecture style that I'm going to talk about here is the layered architecture, which I'm sure that we are all familiar with it. Nearly every application is applying some form of layering. A typical layered architecture enforces the code to be split up into different blocks, usually different uh, projects inside your Visual Studio solution. The code will be split up according to its task and concern. So the layered architecture help pushes us or enforces us to apply the separation of concern principle. And by splitting up the code into different blocks, we are applying the dry principle. The code will be written in one place and then it will be used when it is needed. For example, the code that deal with the database, it will be written inside the data access layer. And the business logic layer, which is above the data access layer, will use the same code when it is needed. And in the future, if you want to update our code and by splitting up the code into different blocks, then we are going to change the code only in one place. This will, uh, this will help us by making less errors and by making our application more maintainable. So, the layered architecture will help us to apply the separation of concern, the dry principle, and it will make our code maintainable. And the final thing that I want to mention here is that the layered architecture will help our application to be more pluggable. And by this, I mean that, for example, in case we need in the future to change the database, then the impact of this change will only be in the data access layer. The last type of application architecture style that I'm going to talk about in this video is the clean architecture. Well, I have been using the clean architecture for quite some time and I have seen a great result. It is basically based on the design principles that we have covered in my previous video, which are the dependency inversion, separation of concern, single responsibility, try and persistent ignorance. By applying the design principle correctly, it will lead us to the clean architecture. One thing to keep in mind is that applying the clean architecture style is not that difficult. The clean architecture brings a way of structuring our application so that the business object is encapsulated at the heart of our application, makes it independent of its implementation. This is just an introduction to the clean architecture style. In the future, I will make a separate uh, video to talk only about the clean architecture in details. So that's it for now, guys. Stay tuned and see you in my next video.